Hi, so welcome back to chapter one. Um, you might be wondering what we're doing here. What happened is I replayed the prologue. Um, Byleth did not miss that attack on that one enemy. Yet. So they're level two, and either she or Quad has got in strength. So that's different, and what that allows us to do is it allows us to use Lauren's on this map and still keep our original pace. Now, I did say I wouldn't be rigging any level ups or anything. Um, first of all, this is the statistically probable timeline. Uh, that's not a good reason. But I'm essentially making a small concession so I can use Warren and show off Warren's. Um, but we're also going to see a reason why Warren's is better than Lysithia here. All right. And that's... Just look at this turn. Orange gets a kill with Professor's guidance. The son of you can't compete with me. Hilda is also able to swing up and get a kill with Professor's guidance. Oh, I put in some work. It's your call. And then Claude also gets in there. And this secures a kill for Leone that also has, you guessed it, Professor's Guidance. So all of these kills are worth more XP than they were the last time, because we were able to use Lauren's, and that let us reposition Byla to maximize our XP a little bit. So, yeah, Lauren's gaming. And this, he's good, you guys, I promise. Look at how good Lauren's is, he just got us so much more XP than Lysophia. So we're going to take another turn to set up here. Uh, so I looked at it, and the only reason Claude needs to heal is because otherwise, after fighting to do, after just one vulnerary, he's not going to have enough health to uh, survive Mercedes, which is really bad. However, he does have multiple opportunities to proc his crest, so if you play a little dangerous, this, you can roll that dice, and you will probably have him healed up before he's in danger for that reason. But, you know, I would rather just take the turn. Ready and willing. If you want to do a fun minigame to realize just how good Hilda's personal is, go ahead and like watch through the chapter, but count the number of times where her, her personal matters. It is so many times. It is almost every kill we get. Almost every single one relies on damage from Hilda's personal. Are you planning a this is a So there's the crest proc, so we wouldn't have needed to uh, take that extra turn. But, you know, we didn't know. Uh, Hilda equips an axe here. This is to what, just make her. Uh, this is to convince Mercedes to attack Hilda instead of Warren's, and that spreads out the damage a bit and gives us a little more wiggle. Health is a resource, and they want to use all the health pools of all our units. So Mercedes could not have attacked Quad there, and he also takes another attack against Dimitri. So in total, he has three opportunities to proc his crest. Uh, 
before he's actually in danger of dying to her. So you can very reasonably go for crest procs and not have to take an extra turn to heal up, but you don't have to. Let us be cautious. Yeah, this is where that one point of strength on Bio the quad, I don't remember who really no matters. Nice speed level up. Nice magic too. Warren's likes magic. Of course, if you don't uh, kill Dimitri with that action, you're not going to have enough actions to kill Hanuman. And then you're in deep shit. We position in a way here that Mercedes never ever ends up in a bush, which is also very nice. I like that. So, I spend quite a bit of time thinking here. Uh, you can scrub past it a bit if you want. Basically what I try to do is find a solution that gets Leone to counterattack Edelgard on enemy phase. Um, but at the end I bumble it in a way that's kind of embarrassing. Stand ready. Oh look, another kill where Hilda's personal would be hypothetically super important. Here I'm counting a physical bulk to see if uh, Leone can tank that. Tank Adel. Let's that get to it. With her personal, she's just tanky enough to handle it. I thought about grabbing Quad's Iron Bow, but it's better to take it off by a lot since Quad's gonna use his next turn. Mine? How do you like that? Who, me? So here I grab the Iron Bow, and I hand it to Leone, but I don't make her equip it. The inner workings of my mind are in an enigma. <laughs> in an enigma. Wow, great. I think you I'll wait that in. <laughs> so Edelgard 
hits real hard and takes no damage in response. Actually, I think Leone might have survived that without her curse call. Anyway. I'm also going to make some positional mistakes here that uh, deny me just a little bit of XP and waste just a little bit of Lance durability. So Lorne's is just barely too weak. I, I mean, Byleth's barely too weak to survive a hit here. So Lorne's is going to come in do the rest of the chip, set up this kill for Leone so she can get a level up this chapter. Now if I just position Tilda next to Warren's, Andalgard would have a bit less health, and I wouldn't need a quick Tempest on this for this. And I also should have positioned Violet next to Warren's, right where I'm, where I was hovering there. Um, but I don't do that, so, you know, that's a little optimization I could do. I'm not going to do this again, though. I promise. Surely I'm not going to come up with a different player that uses Raphael instead, but also requires even more rig levels. <laughs> Can't get comfortable. <laughs> to think. All right. The gold. Great work, everyone. All right. Uh. So. Woo. New timeline.